Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper, and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we are delighted to be joined by Wojciech Nimshek, the new Vice President of Sales and Application, Paper and Tissue at Andritz. I am Mark Rushton, and I will be your host. Paper, board, and tissue continue to be vital parts of our everyday lives, and the segments demand a focus of their own. Andritz has created a new paper and tissue division to ensure a focus of providing top technology for producers in these segments. Mr. Wojciech Nemczyk, who has a lot of experience in the pulp and paper industry, has recently joined Andritz to lead the sales and application areas of these important segments. So, hi, Wojciech. Welcome to our Spectrum podcast. We are delighted to have you with us. Hello, Mark. Hello, everyone. I'm really pleased to be here. So, uh, Wojciech, let's go straight in um, with the questions. Can you tell us about your experience so far in the paper, board, and tissue industries And give us a brief history of your career so far. Okay. I started my career in the pulp and paper industry in 1996. I have a great opportunity to to join uh, the Beloit Corporation. And that time, the Beloit was absolutely leader in technology, very innovative company in the industry. Uh, Even till now, uh, almost more than 20 four years passed away. Uh, many of technology developed that time by Beloit is still still uh, number one using in use in the in our industry. So it was a great opportunity to, to me start there. Then since uh, it is almost 27 years in the pulp and paper industry, uh, I joined uh, also one big player in this our industry, and right now, since a couple of months, I'm specifically starting since first of April, the Andritz. Thanks very much for that, Wojciech. It seems like you have a very broad experience of the industry. Um, so, can you tell us now how are you enjoying your role at Andritz, and what has most impressed you about the company? So, first of all, I'd like to. Uh, Underline that I'm extremely excited uh, joined the Andritz. It was specifically since two months. However, I'm still an extremely big impression about how how great the company is. So I'm more than happy to be here, and I, with all my heart, really like to introduce all my past experience in pulp and paper industry to support and develop. Andritz obtaining the success and better success in other areas of industry as well. And maybe say a little bit more about what's impressed you about Andritz since you've been there. Probably this is worth to mention that the biggest impression is that this is, I have to be honest, that in specifically paper and tissue machinery, Andritz, uh, looking from the global perspective, is in my opinion underlined. I mean, from the market perspective. Achievements within the last, last years of Andritz are really amazing. So, I, I, of course, in the, my past experience and responsibility was to observe our competitors very deeply and precisely. However, last years, even I was doing this, the last years, what I've learned here within the last two months since I joined effectively Andritz is, is unbelievable. Once I learned and understand how big achievements in technology Andritz obtained, mostly within the last probably three to five years. So this is the, the first element I'd like to uh, really enhance. Okay, brilliant. Um, so now, uh, with all of your experience that you've obtained, can you, can you give us your opinions on what challenges the paper, board, and tissue producers currently face and what approaches are you taking to solve them? So about the, from the perspective of our customers sitting in their shoes, from the tissue producers and as well as board and paper producers, the, the challenges over the years stays very similar. 
uh, most rely uh, last decade is of course continuously improvement of energy savings, uh, fiber savings, chemical savings, so overall cost of OPEX and production in parallel to increase the the quality of the products. However, what is absolutely new, and this is very visible within the last years, as in the, I would say, in global scale, in practically, to many reasons, variety reasons, lack of uh, new talents in our industry, and uh, generally, personnel is missing. So this is uh, definitely the challenge which, which was not that much recognized in the past. And we can unfortunately expect in the future it will be even worse situation. So in that sense, naturally, what should be our answer? Our answer should be maximize mm, the digitalization and automation in our processes. This is this is in my opinion one of the and uh, the path we must for forward and what I've learned also, Andrich has a great, great achievements in that area as well. And this is absolutely leverage we can use and we like to promote very, very much because it can be, no doubt, the huge support for our customers, global, global scale. So summarizing that the, the continuously on the daily routine, the common practices driving the innovations and technology development for better uh, better energy savings, sustainability, uh, uh, minimize the cost of production, increase overall efficiency of the processes. However, the digitalization can help really, really much uh, to uh, run much more smoothly, automatic way, and uh, make sure that 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 we that, that the business is not running because of lack, lack of qualified personnel. Of course, the digitalization has much bigger and much wider spectrum of, of the application. We can even better improve our processes in front of the quality or sustainability as well. However, I, I think this is, this is probably for the next main challenge for the, 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 the producers for the next years. And in my opinion, Andris has a great response for that needs. Okay, thank you very much, Wojciech. Um, uh, just a question here um, about digitalization. What is your experience of digitalization? Have you actually seen it in action yet? Have you seen results coming from uh, the digitalization of the pulp and paper industry? What, what are the results? Can you share some of the results with us? Yeah, generally, in my opinion, the digitalization is not uh, yet widely implemented in pulp and paper industry. And the most advanced, uh, probably, are by the way, achievements of Andritz uh, delivering and developing the autonomous, the, the pulp mill. Uh, this is this is this is the direction we should go. And some individual um, units, like 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 um, recovery boiler, and this is natural directions in respect to the global um, industry in pulp and paper industry, specifically from the production of paper, so tissue and board and paper machines. And the digitalization is not yet implemented to the level uh, where it's supposed to be. So it's an exciting space to watch for the future, that's for sure. It is absolutely exciting. Of course, of course there are implementing some small I islands, uh, but this is not entire net yet, and this is not entire process. However, even with those islands, in implementation of the digitalization gives a really uh, great results. And there was very interesting uh, test compared to the, the, the qualified operator optimizing the, the, the energy in production compared to the autonomous um, artificial intelligence driving. It was a smaller scale. However, results was, was absolutely fantastic, confirming that that this is the absolutely right direction for development. So, Wojciech, thank you very much for that answer. Where do innovative solutions and new technologies from Andritz come in to improve production for paper, board, and tissue producers? Can you give us uh, some examples to back that up, please? Yeah, probably this is worth to mention our uh, latest startup. Uh, 
Andritz was a vendor for EPC project, even using uh, semantics in, in Andritz word EPCC for Brazil in Brazil. Uh, it was the brand new uh, tissue mill, including four tissue machines uh, and delivered by Andritz. And this is this is absolutely the latest release of Andris technology, and we were very lucky that we was able to implement in this project all the all the uh, the best available technology at the moment. So I would say this is the great uh, summarizing. This is a great example of 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 capability of Andris. So entire EPC project, including a variety of innovative innovating technologies. Uh, also a very, very extensive package of di package of digitalizations. And everything in in the shape of the great project management skills and processes, as well as a uh, finance power uh, to conduct such projects global scale. Other side of the business, probably this is worth it's a very similar story, a very successful startup, also very fresh, uh, fresh release in the Steiramule. It was the machine conversion, very comprehensive projects, very difficult from the vendor perspective, uh, and in that sense also implemented a lot of best word, in my opinion, technologies, mostly in, in front to the wet end. So the, the very advanced technology headbox, as well as the wet end technologies, I would say um, absolutely top top work uh, achievements. And this is the, the 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 great example where in paper and tissue machinery, Andris is there now. Okay, thank you, Wojciech, for that excellent answer. Um, there's some truly great examples going on in the industry. That is for sure. And just to end, um, what are you working on for the future? What is that your division now working on for the future? We are developing the strategy uh, how to increase our overall business. Uh, the goals are ambitions, very ambitions, however, in my opinion, achievable, because as mentioned before, we have absolutely solid backgrounds and great achievements uh, so a lot of homework was really done within the last five years so in my opinion those goals are absolutely uh, set in the proper way so that's it so a lot of a lot of uh, organization modifications uh, trying to improve the, and develop the processes and increase the business for Andritz overall Andritz including all of the Mm, possible uh, areas of uh, of Andrit's family and other divisions, which is also worth to mention that together with the entire uh, Andrit's powerful, mm, uh, we can increase uh, we increase the business tremendously. Brilliant, excellent. Thank you very much, Wojciech, for that. Um, that was a very interesting discussion with Wojciech, the new Vice President of Sales and Applications, Paper and Tissue at Andritz. It was great to hear about Andritz's plans and goals over the coming years, and it definitely seems that the industries under the umbrella of this business are set for growth well into the future. For more information about the technology and services Andritz Pulp and Paper business areas offer its customers, please visit the Andritz website. Thank you, Wojciech, for an excellent discussion and all the best in your new role. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. And a great big thanks to all our listeners. Goodbye. Goodbye.